hey soulmates hey designers amazing creatives welcome back to the channel my name is vivian Inkechi. okay okay <laughs> you guys said the name now why i actually gave you guys my middle name is the fact that i have a second channel created and that is on my personal journey now in case you want to hop on that particular channel and follow my personal journey on this planet earth please go subscribe and just type in kitchen area okay k on the youtube search and it's just gonna take you to my second channel okay thank you for subscribing and welcome back to this particular channel okay so i uploaded a video on my story and not the community and i asked you guys if you wanted to see me recreate the dress charlie if you see the like i got eh the like you guys give me crap this is the first time i'm uploading a video on my youtube story and getting that like okay i get those kind of like on my community but the first time you guys are liking the videos and you guys are commenting uh, i want to see the dress please share a tutorial share a step share your video on how you created the dress and you guys even till now that i'm making this video i'm still i'm still getting messages so this particular dress was made um or was created by christy clothing she's on instagram you can go check her out and she's a friend from my school days my sewing school days i met her there and she created this particular dress and i saved the video a long time because i told myself that one day one day now one day i will create this dress and the day came what i do now is um i'm going to show you guys the steps i follow before i will create any outfits it's a recent thing i did that in my last video my last upload and i'm going to be doing that on this video um you guys the first thing i always do when i want to make an outfit is first of all find out the measurements i need for that particular outfit and from the measurements i can know how to find out how the styles can be gotten how i can dissect and get the styles and then from there i know what kind of fabric is good and from there i know how many years i need now what you need first of all is to know the measurements and that is what this particular first clip is all about now this is the best way for you to learn as a beginner or a self-taught designer you need to follow this process like this so before you create your pattern you already know the process and you know what you're getting yourself into okay looking at the dress i'll upload a video here so you guys see what we're talking about and in case you feel like you already know what to do or you think you just want to try because it's the best way to learn so try before i even start saying it start writing down your answers on the comment section and see if it tallies with my atlas okay it's the best way for you to learn i keep saying this okay now the first measurement um i can notice on this dress is the fact that it is off shoulder this is an off shoulder dress we don't need the shoulder point so this eliminates us creating a shoulder for the dress we're going to start marking our measurements from our upper bust point which is the chest line okay so we're going to eliminate from this point to this point we don't need it we're going to start marking from this point down to the rest now these are the measurements we're going to need for this particular dress we need the upper bust which is the chest point we need the bust point which is where your nipples um, is located we need the under bust points which is the end of your breast we need the waist points we need the hip points and we need the length of the dress now once we have those points indicated we have to come back and mark the round measurement of those points so that is what takes us to the round upper bust which is the round chest the round bust which is the of course your where your nipples is round of it then we move to the round underboss the round waist the round hip and the round base now these are the measurements we need to recreate this dress how did you do guys how did you do for those that typed their answers on the comment section did you get it if you did not get it try again later the next video you're gonna get it okay moving on we'll go to the sleeves and now you can see that the sleeves is just tacked to the dress there is no armhole so the sleeve is tacked to the dress and the sleeve is rouge so we need the round armhole and we also need the length now once we're done with indicating that these are the measurements we need we move to the style now what is happening on this dress what is the style okay um let me look at this again okay now you can you guys you can see that the style is rouge from this point to this point now from your upper bust point to your underboss or one inch below your underboss it is rouge so what that means is that we need 
double or triple or you know four times the measurements we have for this particular space from here to here so we need to take this off the whole pattern totally and then slash and spread or just go ahead and add enough allowance to what we have and then use that to create the ruche gather that back to our actual measurement okay so the up part from the upper boss to the under boss is ruche but then from the under boss or one inch below the under boss down to the full length is normal okay is the actual measurements no slashing no adding of excess measurements to gather is the actual measurement so that is the style and then moving to the slip also you can see that it is ruche so we need to times this whatever we have as our armhole we need to times it by two or three or four four you guys why when i say times it by two three or four i mean the more you times it the more rush you're gonna get so if you don't like how much rush i have you can reduce it if you think it's even too small you can increase it so just go ahead and times i'm just gonna show you guys what the measurement i do so you can times it or reduce it whatever you want to do you can do that so this is the style and we're going to be rushing from here to here and then the rest is just going to be actual measurement now the back piece this thing i just said is for the front piece now for the back piece is normal it's just actual measurements from your chest then your back chest down to your length your full length of the dress is actual measurements with zip allowance okay for the back is simple actual measurement from your chest get the back chest down to the length actual measurements with zip allowance and that is the style for the dress now you guys you can see that the front of this dress where we have that slash and spread there is an opening so we're going to be having an opening in at the middle here that's your center front is going to be open so we're going to be doing this differently doing this differently and then joining it back to the the um dress the continuation of the dress and we're going to be getting this and you can see that there is also a string or a strap attached to this point so we're going to be creating a channel for that and also we're going to be using elastic to create the sleeves so you can see that at this spot here i have called out so many things and these are the things we're going to be using to create the dress now moving on now to the fabric looking at this i can just tell you that the fabric for this dress is crepe you don't need an ancestor or you don't need a sorcerer or you don't need a wizard or a witch a whatever you don't need anybody to tell you this is crepe now you can decide to use any other fabric you want to but i used crepe also and it came out the same way it came out really fine and it actually came out the way i wanted and i'm grateful that you know i did not go any other way i went to the same thing i always go to which is crepe and how many years um i used three yards of fabric now i did not finish the whole three yards but just go ahead and get you three yards or three and a half if you're bigger than me now why there's rouge going on here there's rouge going on on your sleeve so you need that so much fabric to achieve those things okay just get you three yards or three and a half it's your fabric okay if it remains you saw a short or a tube for me it's okay it's your fabric girl don't be sending it <laughs> And that is the yacht you need. Now, you guys, now that you know all the things, please do not forget to give this particular video a thumbs up. And also, if you're new here, please go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to comment in the comment section if you have any suggestion, any question, anything at all. Go ahead and comment in the comment section. Or you can send me a message on my WhatsApp group. I now have a WhatsApp group which is available to everybody. Go ahead and click on the link. It's available in the community. Click on the link and join. Or you can also send me a message on Instagram. Like, there's so many ways for you to reach me, girl. I'm not far away from you, just a click away or a link away or a DM away from me. So just go ahead and send me a message on Instagram or my WhatsApp group or even here on the YouTube community, okay? Go ahead and send me a message and I will be replying you as soon as I see the message. But that is all for this first clip. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, let's just move into the pattern draft. Okay guys, so we are on the pattern drafting and I'm just going to show you guys the width that I'm working with, okay, the width of my pattern paper. Now, the width of my pattern paper here is my round hip divided by 4 plus 3 inches. Now, my round hip divided by 4 gives you 10.5 plus 3 inches gives you 13.5. And you can see that that's the width of my pattern paper, okay? Now, the first step for us to mark on this pattern paper is the allowance for the channel we're going to be creating now the channel for the straps we'll have to mark down the allowance 
and I will be marking down two inches from the top of my pattern. I'll go down by two inches, and that is the allowance for my straps. Okay, you can do one inch, you can do half inch, it just all depends on what you want to work with. But I'm marking two inches down. Okay, so this two inches down is here is going to be my starting line, and this is just the allowance for the channel we're going to be creating. Then the next thing for us to do is we're going to be minusing the measurement from the shoulder to the chest point, okay? So for my shoulder to my chest point, I have 7 inches, but I'll be working with 6 inches for my pattern. Now, I'm just taking away 1 inch. I'm just going to place my tape from 6 inches and I'll go down and mark my bust point. So 6 inches has been taken off, which is the measurement from the shoulder to the chest point and now we're going to be marking our measurement from the chest point down to other measurements now what i'm marking here is my boss point so i'm marking my boss point from my chest point just go down mark my boss point 10.5 and i will label this out so you don't get confused i'll move on again to place my tape from that six inches and i'll mark my under boss point okay all the measurements you need are going to be on the screen just go ahead and look at what is happening and mark your measurement. Now, remember that we've taken away six inches. I have taken away six inches from this measurement. And what I'm marking now is six inches down to other measurement, okay? I'll also go ahead and place my tape from that six inches on the starting line. I'll go down and mark my waist point, which is 16 inches from my chest line. So, notice one thing that is constant. When I'm placing my tape on the starting line, I'm making sure that I place it from 6 inches and then I'll go down and mark whatever I want to mark, whatever point I want to mark. So the next point I'm marking is my hip point and that is 24 inches. So my tape is on the starting line and 6 inches is taken off. 6 inches is off the whole measurement and I'm just marking 24 inches down, okay? And this is my hip point now the rest of the pattern is going to be my length but let's move on to dividing our round measurement by four so the first measurement i'll be dividing by four is my round bust now just see me ignore the starting line which is the chest line and i'll just move over to my bust line i'll divide my round bust by four and i'll mark that down on the bust line i'll move over to my under bust i'll divide my round under bust by four and mark that down on my under bust line okay i'll connect both points together gradually the pattern is going to come together you guys are going to see it makes sense okay we'll move over to the waist divide the round waist by four and mark that down on the waistline now all measurements that you divide should be marked on their points on their line okay so you take your vertical measurement first and then your horizontal measurement okay so I'll connect my waistline now to the underboss and I'll move to the hip. I'll go ahead and divide my round hip by 4. And my round hip is 42 divided by 4 gives you 10.5 and I'll mark this down on the hip line, okay? And then I'll connect this to the waist. Gradually, gradually, it is all making sense. So now we're just going to move over to marking the length and the length of my dress is 47 inches. So I'll place my tape from the starting line, taking away 6 inches and I'll mark 47 inches down as the length of my dress. Now if you like how long my own dress is, go ahead and do this. But if you don't like how long it is, you want yours to be short girl, you can go ahead and do that okay. Just go ahead and mark your short skirt measurement. Now, for us to get the round base and to get the pencil effect on this dress, what we have to do now is we're going to be minusing 4 inches from our round hip and then we'll divide the number by 4. Now, my round hip is 42. 42 minus 5. I'm taking away 5 inches from my round hip and I'll get 37. Now, I'll go ahead and divide 37 by 4 and that is what I'll be marking on the length, okay? Let's do this again. The width of my base of my length is going to be my round hip. My round hip here, which is 42. So 42 minus 5 inches. I'm taking away 5 inches from that measurement. I just want to get that pencil effect, okay? And not too much pencil effect. 
So 42 minus 5 gives you 37. And now we'll just go ahead and divide 37 by 4 and mark that down on the length, okay? And this is how to get your pencil effect. And this is only when you're marking down from your new points to your middle point, not from your short length, okay? When you're doing your short length, you don't need all this measurement, okay? So what I just marked here is 37 divided by 4, which is 9.25. And I have that on the length. So I'll just go ahead and connect that to the hip. And you can see the pencil effect already, okay? Can you see that? I already have that pencil effect. And this is not even too much pencil effect. This is just the right amount, okay? Now we're just going to move on to the starting line, which is our chest line. And we'll just connect the measurement we have on the boss. We'll take it up straight. Very simple. We'll just take the line straight up. And also take it straight up to where you have your allowance for your channel, Okay? And that is it, Stephanie. You're done with your front pattern. Now go ahead and adjust all sharp edges because, girl, there are no sharp edges on your body. So go ahead and adjust with the curve. And now we're going to be adding allowance to this. On my pattern, I'm just going to add half an inch allowance. That is what I'll be adding. So if you are not confident about adding half an inch allowance, girl, you can go ahead and add one inch or 1.5 please go ahead and do you you alone know the allowance that is good for your pattern so go ahead and do that okay so this is the allowance i'm adding and that is 0 0.5 i'll indicate that on the pattern before i cut so please let me know in the comment section if you were able to follow to this point let me know and don't forget to also give this video a thumbs up while you're watching it, okay? You guys always forget to do that. I am tired of crying likes on YouTube. Please stop making me be that girl that cries likes on YouTube. That's not fair, okay? Go ahead and like this video right now. Thank you. This is my front pattern and I'm just going to go ahead and draft out the back pattern. So creating the back pattern obviously is going to be simple. Just get you a fresh pattern paper. And before anything, we're just going to mark our zip allowance. And for me, I'm using 1.5. And I'm just going to mark that from the top of the pattern to where the length of the dress is going to stop. I'll just mark 1.5 inch. I'm just connecting the lines to um, demarcate it from the other part of the pattern. And I'll just label that this is a zip allowance. Now we're going to place the front pattern on our new pattern after the zip allowance, okay? So this is my front pattern. I'll place this on the new pattern. I'll fold in my channel allowance. You, you guys, you know that the back, we're not creating channel for that. So just fold in that channel allowance that you added, okay? Fold it in. My two inches is my channel allowance and I folded that in before placing my front pattern. And you can see that my front pattern is sitting after the zip allowance okay after the zip allowance line that is where i place my front pattern from and i'm just going ahead to trace my front pattern on the new pattern before i cut so you can either trace or just go ahead and cut but make sure you pin your front pattern to your new pattern so it does not move while you cut and then go ahead and cut this or you can just place heavy objects you can see that after pinning i also went ahead to place my um, other phone so that this just sit perfectly right while I cut. So, um, what I just did now is actually not necessary. I added half inch on the top of the back pattern. And this is not necessary because I'll be cutting this out. Why? Because I decided to make the back of my dress low. So, this part is not necessary. So, just go ahead and ignore, okay? The next thing we're going to do is adjust the zip allowance and to do this i'm just indicating that this is the waist so from the waist i'll go out by one inch on the zip allowance so one inch sits on your waist at the back okay and then i'll connect this to the shoulder or the chest line like this so what i have on the chest line is still the 1.5 and what i have on the waist is one inch i'll move over to my hip this is where i have my hip i'll connect the waist from that one inch i have on the waist i'll connect this to the hip like this making sure i still have my 1.5 on the hip and then from the hip i'll come down by five inches And on that 5 inches I just came down by, I'll mark 1 inch. 
or just mark one inch out this is the zip okay this is only happening on the zip i'll mark one inch and now I'll keep marking the one inch till i get to the length before i go ahead and connect this to the hip now see me connecting the one inch on that five inches down to the hip like this and then i'll connect the rest to the length now you guys you see how it looks right you can see how the zip allowance is looking so on the hip we have 1.5 on the chest we have 1.5 but on the waist we have one inch and five inches down from the hip we have one inch straight to the length i'll cut out the excess And I'm just going to cut out that 0 0.5. Like I said, it was not necessary because I want my back piece to be low. So I'll cut that out. And now let me create my low back. So this is how I'm just going to go ahead and achieve the low back. Um, I'll mark 4 inches down on my back pattern. Remember, it is only the back pattern that has a zip. That is why I'm marking on the zip. I marked 4 inches down okay and i'll just rule the line like this before i take off the pins so i'm taking off the pins because i need to separate my front pattern from this so i can go ahead and adjust to get my low back okay so the front pattern is off and this is how the back pattern looks so from here where we have the four inches i'll connect this to this point so we're connecting to this point to the side so this is where the side seam is going to sit and i'm just connecting with my curve ruler so you guys you see the way i achieved my low back right i use the curve so this is how low my back will be looking so how low can you go for your back piece how low can you go you don't so i'm just going to cut out the excess leaving half an inch because when i'm cutting this on the fabric i need to have allowance to fold okay at the back so i just left half inch 0.5 why cutting and that is it for the back Pierce my heart straight through I got issues in my head I like you in my Now let's create the front rush To create the front rush just bring out your um, channel allowance you actually need to bring it out because right now we're going to be marking one inch down from the under bust okay so I indicated the under bust here so you know that that is the line and I'm marking one inch down from the under bust. And that is where I'll be separating this pattern from. So I'll separate this with my scissors. Um, but then I labeled it so you don't get confused. So one inch down from the under bust. And then you go ahead and cut this out. So the waist um, side is going to be kept aside and while we work on the main top part, okay, to get the rush. Now, what we're going to be doing is slashing and spreading this pattern. Now, at this point, you guys, this is optional. I have another way you can do this, okay? I'll be showing you another way, which is the easiest way to do this. But let's go through this whole process, okay? Now, before I slash, I'm just going to mark 1.5 inch apart on the top pattern. I'll mark another 1.5 inch i'll keep marking see i run out of pattern okay 1.5 inch apart 1.5 inch apart so once you do that you should have this and go ahead and label out your pattern so i'm doing that one two three four five six and now i can cut so why we actually label this out is when we decide to um spread we already know which is one which is two which is three which is four you get everything will just go accordingly okay now for the spreading go ahead and bring in a fresh pattern paper and then rule a line and that line is going to be a certain line now start with your number one place your number one use your silly tape to hold that down and make sure you do that also at the down of the um, number one and then now go ahead and spread by either four five or six inches or even seven you guys at this point the amount that you spread your pattern by is going to determine how much rush you get now why i was doing this i worked with just two inches or three inches because i was just trying to show you guys something okay i didn't want to exhaust my pattern paper but the amount you spread this by is going to determine the rush you get now the other way you can do this which is the or is 
don't spread don't slash just go ahead and place your top pattern on your piece of fabric after folding into two and leave almost 30 inches allowance after the center front okay so this is the center front see where my tape is that is the center front i left 20 inches allowance and why i said 30 is because i already spread this pattern this pattern I already spread it so that is why i just left 20 more inches okay now the total allowance i left on my front pattern is 30 inches and this is from the center front out okay i left 30 inches and when you do this it's just going to give you enough allowance or enough piece of fabric to gather when you're trying to create your ruche for the top and remember that when you place your pattern to cut you should have two pieces of fabric like this okay you're still gonna have two pieces of fabric and you guys this is it for the pattern drafting please let me know in the comment section if any of it was confusing for you, I'll go ahead and sort it out for you, okay? Let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video while you're at it. And if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. You're welcome. Thank you for joining me. And I'll be seeing you guys on my next video. Love and light to you. Bye for now.